Our planet teems with such diversity of life that it is difficult to recognize some organisms as even being alive. That complexity hints at the challenge of searching for life as we don't know it. The alien biology that may have taken hold on other planets where conditions could be unlike anything we've seen before. The universe is a really big place. Chances are, if we can imagine it, it's probably out there on a planet somewhere. For decades, astronomers have come at the question by confining their search to organisms broadly similar to the ones here on Earth. In 1976, NASA's Viking landers examined soil samples on Mars and tried to animate them using the same kind of organic nutrients that Earth microbes like. They ended up with inconclusive results. But this is only the beginning. Later this year, ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter will begin scoping out methane in the Martian atmosphere which could be produced by Earth-like bacteria life. NASA's Mars 2020 rover will likewise scan for carbon-based compounds from possible past or present Mars organisms. But the environment on Mars isn't much like that on Earth. And the exoplanets that astronomers are finding around other stars are stranger and far different still. Many of them quite unlike anything in our solar system. Many of them different from anything we could ever imagine. For that reason, it's important to broaden the search for life. We need to open our minds to genuinely alien kinds of biological, chemical, geological, and physical processes. Everybody looks for biosignatures. They're meaningless because we don't have any other examples of biology other than that on Earth. To open our minds, we need to go back to the basics and consider the fundamental conditions that are necessary for life. First, it needs some form of energy, such as those from volcanic hot springs or hydrothermal vents that would seem to rule out any planets or moons lacking a strong source of internal heat. Life also needs protection from space radiation, such as an atmospheric ozone layer. Many newly discovered Earth-sized worlds, including ones around TRAPPIST-1 and Proxima Centauri, orbit red dwarf stars whose powerful flares could strip away any planet's atmosphere. Finally, everything we know about life indicates that it requires some kind of liquid solvent in which chemical interactions can lead to self-replicating molecules. Water is exceptionally effective in that regard. It facilitates making and breaking chemical bonds, assembling proteins or other structural molecules, and for an actual organism, feeding and getting rid of waste. That's why planetary scientists currently focus on the habitable zone around stars, the location where a world could have the right temperature for liquid water on its surface. These constraints still leave a bewildering range of possibilities. Perhaps other liquids could take the place of water. Perhaps other forms of life do not require the same form of energy we need. Perhaps radiation is an essential and fundamental building block on other planets or a less exotic possibility. Maybe biology could arise in the buried ocean on an ice-covered alien world. Such a setting could offer energy, protection, and liquid water, yet provide almost no outward sign of life, making it tough to detect. For planets around other stars, we simply do not know enough yet to say what is or is not happening there. Meanwhile, another Saturn moon, Titan, could tell us whether life could arise without liquid water. Titan is dotted with lakes of methane and ethane, filled by seasonal hydrocarbon rain. Scientists have speculated that life could arise in this frigid setting. Several well-formulated, but as yet unfounded, concepts exist for a lander that could investigate Titan's methane lakes, looking for microbial life. For the diversified mix of exoplanets that have no analog in our solar system, scientists have to rely on laboratory experiments and sheer imagination. We're still looking for the basic physical and chemical requirements that we think life needs, but we're trying to keep the net as broad as possible. Exoplanet researchers are modeling different types of possible planetary atmospheres and the kind of chemical signatures that life might imprint on them. But it may not be that easy. In a vast universe, it is difficult to say what forms of elements exist, what atmospheres occupy planets, and what organisms accompany those planets. Everything we know is solely based upon the biases of our experiences. What we have seen on Earth dictates what we anticipate to see on other planets. Casting a wide search for ET won't be easy and it won't be cheap, but it will surely be transformative, even if astrobiologists find nothing. The knowledge will tell us how special life here on Earth is. Any kind of success will be Earth-shattering. Finding terrestrial-style bacteria on Mars would tell us we're not alone. Finding methane-swimming organisms on Titan would tell us, even more profoundly, that ours is not the only way to make life. The discovery of some new and alien atmospheric, elemental, or biological conditions on exoplanets would send us into a frenzy of curiosity, bewilderment, fear, and awe. Either way, we Earthlings will never look at the cosmos the same way again.